Hi everyone, I'm Mary Ellen with Headwaters Science Institute and welcome back to another Thursday Science Challenge. Today we're going to look at benthic macroinvertebrates. A macroinvertebrate is a small organism that doesn't have a spine and you can see with your eye. Benthic just means it's under the water. Macroinvertebrates are super cool because they can tell you a lot about the water quality. They're not very tolerant of pollution and they need quite a bit of oxygen to survive. They're an important part of the food chain because they're herbivores and fish use them as a food source. So last week we looked at water speed. I want to see if there's a relationship between water speed and the macroinvertebrates. We learned that the faster the water, the more oxygen is there is in there. So I'm going to predict or hypothesize that where there's faster water, we'll find more macroinvertebrates. So let's see what we can find. I'm back at the creek I was last week, and I want to see if there's more macroinvertebrates in the fast-moving water than in slow-moving water. I need to find a slow, big pool to compare to right here. So right now I'm going to retest my speed, and then I'm going to look for some bugs. I got four. I'm going to see if I can find some macroinvertebrates underneath these rocks. Here's a cool one I found. It's actually a caddisfly shell that it's building around itself. There's one right there, and there's one right there. Here's a great rock I found. Right here is a stonefly nymph that's moving along, and right here is a caddisfly that's used its secretions to attach these little rocks to create a little shell around it. You can't see the organism in there, but it's built this little brick house around it. Super cool. Here's a really cool rock I found with a stonefly on it. You can see him crawling around on the top there. If you can get a hold of a bug identifying book, it really helps being able to figure out what the little macroinvertebrates are. I found a nice spot on the same stream that has much slower water, so I'm going to take a survey here. I first need to get the water speed. and seven. I'm going to call it seven. Let's see if we can find some benthic macroinvertebrates. The water is really clear, so it's easy to find where the rocks are. There's one little stonefly and another one right there, so I'll count them. Nothing moving on this one. So I'm going to survey for the same amount of time each place. I'm going to give it three minutes picking up rocks. Oh, there's some cool warming, uh, moving things. There's a little stonefly right there and some sort of millipede invertebrate. I'm going to take a picture of it and look it up. There seems to be quite a few bugs in here. 
There's another small little crawly thing. I'm putting it back down where I got them to make sure they stay alive. This one has a small little moving worm. Okay, now let's move over to the other side. It's a little slower just past my spot, so I'm going to measure both spots. I moved over to where the water was 10 seconds per meter. And I see two, three little stone flies, four. Nothing there. Nothing moving on that one. And we got one big stone fly and another little one. And another little guy. It looks like we've got stone flies everywhere, which is a great indicator that this water is really very clean. Now I'm going to go back and compare my data, but if nothing else, I got to spend a really lovely hour or two on this nice little creek. I've written down my data, and this is what I've got. In the faster part of the creek, which was rolling at 4 seconds per meter, I found 18 macroinvertebrates. In the slower part of the creek, which was rolling at 10 seconds per meter, I found 9. So my data so far supports my hypothesis that there are more macroinvertebrates in the faster part of the creek. But I wonder, are there any other factors going on? I can assume there's more oxygen, but I don't know for sure until I actually get a device that tests it. Now that we've looked beneath the surface, see if you can find a creek or stream to investigate and see if you can find some benthic macroinvertebrates. Please share with us anything you find. We love to see your photos. See you next week.